Hey, what's up guys? Steve with Scotch and Things. Hey, it's your your weekly update of how my week went work-wise and other nonsense like that. Sorry, Rick. I, I, got, I got the mount. I just haven't had time to play with it yet. Um, we've been getting a lot of window time this week with work. Uh, this job's, uh, you know, 90 some miles each way. So we've been driving it instead of staying in a hotel because you get in some places and there's just not many options but we're taking off early today it's three i'm gonna try and get on be home so i can do some stuff and i might be on get on with uh justin and doc later tonight on their their podcast meet in the mayhem check it out and then if i got time maybe i'll swing into javon's thing too just depends Turn what's going on us 30 west uh when i get home really what the family's got going on so we will see but breaking off early because i thought we we're going to take this weekend off because the weather is going to be horrible just miserable rain wind so not bin jacking weather in eight and a half miles sorry turn left onto highway 79 the navigation is talking to me telling me where this oil change place is anyway so my truck is due for a service got a recall on it so got to get an oil change done i'm over so <sighs> gotta head to the gmc dealership and get that done uh and then next time we're home one of the other trucks is, is due uh, and need to get brakes on that one so holy crap I'm tired driving every morning we've been getting up at five and god you know what this adapt adaptive cruise control is great until someone cuts in front of you god damn getting up early uh started the week off we had to do so if you remember last week we were kind of winding our way back from way out north north platte nebraska northwest nebraska the west part of the state dropped our equipment off for last friday oh man it's, it was hard to go back to this job because we'd already been paid for it earlier this spring we ripped the floor out and added some rings to the this grain bin and they had to put a new floor in and we had to wait for the floor to come in but i was already paid so it was like oh yeah i've been paid for it, but now the guys are working it's it all it's all you know it's just me it's a mental block thing and then Tuesday, we did that repair job. Um, so that is what wind can do to a grain bin. Pushed it in. We had to I'd take anchors off because then when it pushes the bin in, and this was lucky it didn't get any, just caved the, sorry, caved the bin in and didn't do any damage to the roof. Um, but it pulls the bin off the anchor off the anchors uh, especially these kinds of anchors it's a smaller bin and they're not anchored they're just anchored with pound in uh, concrete anchors which are garbage in my opinion but had to get those anchors off so the bin would when i and then we drilled some holes some pilot holes set scaffolding up on the inside so where we could put hooks in and then i could have the get then i lift the guys up and they would i'd hook the telehandler on i didn't any video of it but i would hook the telehandler on to different positions parts of the bin where it was and i would pull that damage out as best we could one it's easier to get the sheets out when they're not folded in half and then two it'll it gets that bin to sit back down and we got lucky the bin sat down perfectly nice right where it was supposed to stayed stayed around um and then did that and then had a miserable four-hour drive the next day because we were two hours from home and then we had to go two hours the other direction dragging equipment where we oh my god sorry started, we built the roof yesterday and finished the roof today and jacked some rings and it got kind of windy and I had called and been trying to get this truck in and uh, called them and they're like I'm like hey I need to get in tomorrow uh, I got a recall and I've got oil change and this and that and I go like, oh, we're closed I'm like oh so then I'm like well it's getting kind of windy it's, it is Friday so I called them back I said hey if I'm there in an hour can you guys get me in and they're like yeah come on in so I was like hey guys you want 
I'm gonna quit early today and no one argued with that so um, there is that knife stuff yeah so Tuesday was an awesome day I'd gotten home from work and my heater was there I got that uh, the Miller Bros T1 from Dave um, in to check out and possibly buy uh, we were you'll see more on that hopefully it hopefully tomorrow otherwise Monday but you'll see more and I'll, I'll explain and tell you a story how uh, Dave's a bad influence but man I've been carrying this heater every day since it hasn't left my pocket this thing is man I love it it is just awesome it's he did such a great job like with my, my vision it's not really vision I've just seen stuff other stuff he'd done in the past and kind of picked my favorites and and color wise he just nailed it's hard to see but the bronze and the blue is just just beautiful and I love that blasted finish man that's my probably my favorite it just it, you know how a Chris Reeve feels that's how this feels and it's it's great this thing is just the action I mean thumb flick finger flick the flipper tab and it is a menacing looking knife but carries really great it's I'll have to do some comparisons so you guys can actually like it looks it is big and long but it's fairly thin um, I'll have to do some measurements to see how it is like against that Miller and against uh, like maybe a Medford Praetorian tie. I, I don't feel like it's as thick, um, but man, I love this knife. It is sharp as all get out. Like I said, it carries really good in pocket. Um, I, you know, I haven't stabbed myself with the with this pokey stabby thing right here, so that's good. So there is that. Yeah, such an awesome knife. And really for a custom build, like I said, I ordered this or I started the process. You know, and I I said I wasn't a fan of that pivot. It, it grows on me. I'm glad it's, he darkened it instead of the shiny, how you wanted it. Um, it just, it doesn't get in the way, um, no matter if you're choked up or whatever. So just, I'm really just super extremely happy with this knife and how it turned out. Um, what else? Yeah, I've been pretty good except for one day this week, and it's all Dave's fault. Uh, I've been really good about not buying anything. Um, what else? What else? What else? Oh man, this weekend, like you know, on your mile, time off. Turn left onto Highway 79. Stupid thing. Um, some really good friends of ours. Uh, um, she's turning 40 and she's having a birthday party and they've been talking about it and I was kind of hoping I'd be out of town. I t like, it sounds like a good time. I'll probably have fun when I'm there, but it's like, got to go to Lincoln and uh, they're like, our kids are going to watch her kids and her sister's kids. And, but they've rented a, I don't know, kind of, uh oh, shoot. Turn left onto highway 79. I guess I'm turning here. Um, I wouldn't have gone this way, but this is what map or Apple map says is faster. So we'll go this way. Um, it says go, this thing is so effed up. I bet you, nope, it was a jot in the road. I think it's going to tell me to turn. For about 21 miles, nope. continue straight. I don't know why it's taking me this way, but whatever. Um, anyway yeah so her birthday party's tomorrow but it's like it doesn't start to like like i want to be home but it's, now we're gonna have to get a hotel in lincoln uh got a dj and a, all sorts of other nonsense going on so i'm just like uh, i was hoping to be out of town but oh well um so there's that do you guys get that way too like i enjoy like just you know having a beer at home hanging I, I'm kind of a homebody I used to love going out like why is it taking me through North Bend oh well um you know but the older I've gotten it's just like I like to be home and you know other than like you know our golf trips or something and it's it's three nights of just out eating good food and having beers with the guys but other than that it's like oh man I just 
could just sit home and relax and enjoy myself. So yeah, one of your days off, and more of it's just because like, you know, with two days off, and then we're gonna be, depending on how the, the wind looks good, so this project we're on, we're gonna try and get it done next Wednesday or Thursday. And then we're trying to decide if we, I'm trying to decide if we go right down, depending on what the weather's doing, if we just keep working through the weekend and and go down to the southern, the southwestern part of Nebraska, southeastern part of Nebraska, excuse me, to um, start, we've got seven bins down there and it is crunch time, it is, uh, we're getting into harvest, but it's also like, man, sometimes you just gotta, you know, take a day or two. But the guys like the money, so we'll see. Uh, I was gonna say something. That, oh, I don't know if you guys saw that picture on Instagram today. You know, it's harvest when you show up to the job site and everything's covered in that red, um, we call it red snow. It's like chaff, it comes off the corn when they're unloading it from the trucks and dumping it into the dryer. And, and if it's kind of windy, it's just, there's just shit everywhere. And it just, God, it gets into everything. It's just so annoying. It gets into all the job trailers. It's, it's everywhere. And then with a little dew this morning, it just stuck to you. All the truck that stayed on site was uh, just covered in it and it's covered in it now. So that's what I got for you guys. I don't know much else. Um, yeah, love the heater, excited. I'm hoping the mail, the mail system really kicks ass and gets something here tomorrow for me. Otherwise it'll be Monday. Oh, so nothing else too exciting, I don't think. But uh, hopefully I can, like I said, hopefully I can make that podcast tonight. Meet in the Mayhem, check it out on uh, Spotify, I think it is. So that's what I got for you guys. Sorry, I'm just trying to make sure it's clear to go. I'm gonna focus on driving now. Rick, I'm gonna work with that thing this weekend. So next week when you get this update, uh, we will, um, oh God, railroad tracks. We'll have, we won't have shaky hand cam. But uh, well, I've played that golf course before. There's the North Bend golf course. If you're excited about that, but I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.